And you know I wear my heart on my sleeve You hitting all the reads, pack your shit like you finna leave I go and hide your keys, put you in position to win Bless you without a sneeze, bust you down in on the BB And we was getting cheap, overplay my part, I can't breathe I feel the pain in my lungs Part, I can't breathe, I feel the pain in my lungs I thought we really was one My heart cold as hell She And you know I wear my heart on my sleeve You hitting all the reads, pack your shit like you finna leave I go and hide your keys, put you in position to win Bless you without a sneeze, bust you down in on the BB And we was getting cheap, overplay my part, I can't breathe I feel the pain in my lungs Gang, it's your dog in the building. Oh, let me fix my little background here. First, let's delete this. It's your dog in the building, man. We took a loss tonight. We tricked off the game again. Going to the plan. All the Bulls got to do is win. I think they got the Bulls got to win two games. Uh, oh, we hit 1500. Hey, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. Salute. We hit 1,500 subscribers on the channel. That's what's up. Big time milestone, man. Salute, salute, salute. And salute to everybody who subscribed and salute to everybody who come and come fuck with your boy all these games. Appreciate that support big time. Salute to all my day ones. Let's get to the action. Okay. First of all, let me get my shout outs going. Salute to the homeboy Carl in the building. Salute to H2K, salute to Mike, salute to Cujo in the building, salute to the homeboy, the Birdcage, salute to Carlos, salute to my guy Southside, salute to my homeboy K, who else in here, salute to Ayers in the building, salute to the homeboy MVGs in the building, salute to Camax, <laughs> Trent Ayers, salute to the homeboy Aiden in the building, Pre appreciate that support. Let's talk about the game we just saw, right? Obviously, let me go ahead and clear it, get it up out of here, uh, put it on out there. Uh, Quinn Snyder was was not, he wasn't really, he didn't, um, 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 he don't care about getting that home court for the playing game. He don't care. He's, I guess he said he'd rather utilize this time to get our guys who might, who might be called on. <laughs> hey, yeah, you're right, Coach. Hey, he held on the shoot butt too long, man. Went past green, bro. <laughs> hey, 
Hey. But it y'all saw he prioritized getting our guys who might be called on during the play-ins, the two playing games we have to play, or the playoffs. He rather utilize that time by letting these guys get some real game minutes. Uh, I'm not upset with that. I feel them. I just was. I just wish they could have held that lead. You know, that was a nice size lead that that the backups were given, and they couldn't hold it on. Right? Um, it is what it is. It doesn't really change nothing for us. You know, like I said, I just wanted to get the ninth seed. Uh, There's plenty of games we had. That we could have won, man. Do and it's always due to something small, some issue that we need to address. But it is what it is. Let me drop the link for the post game live show. Uh, your boy, I'm not going to. Uh, oops, that's the wrong thing. I'm not going to take up too much of y'all time tonight, gang. Um, I mean, because this game really doesn't matter, right? Um. Uh, but if you want to come tap in, y'all know how we get down. Let me drop y'all this link up here. Boom. Salute to my guy, Ticket in the building. Salute to the homeboy, Rail in the building. We talk mouth. That's my guy, him and King. Y'all looking like a problem over there, Rail. Y'all looking like a problem over there while, while we over here on the struggle bus right now. Hopefully not for long. <laughs> um, Here's the link. Salute to the homeboy, Jeff in the building. Uh, Jeff said, "Imagine if Nate did that, they'd be going crazy." Yeah, yeah, they would. You know, you know that. You already know that, Jeff. You already know that, man. Um, Cujo said, "I don't think Murray had five. <laughs> Here y'all go. Hey, um, they go to link, man. I ain't gonna take up too much of y'all time tonight, man, because I'm hungry. I ain't even gonna sit here and lie to you, right? But real quick, let me get get my little points out, then uh." We'll hear what uh what the fans got to say. Um, obviously we knew Trey ain't played since late February, so um you knew it was gonna be a little he was gonna have a little rust on him. Um, we all know as athletes, um, at any level, that when you take a long break off from uh doing what you do. You know, when you come back, you're going to be a little rusty. You know, practice not the same as the game, the speed different, you know, and actually you got people really going against you. Um, Was glad to see, uh, not going to lie, I was glad to see Trey back with the vision again. A lot, a lot of passes that, you know, Murray just wouldn't even attempt it. Um, but I think Trey, I think he had a, he had a nice game. I seen a lot where – um. Um, where he came down the court without the basketball. Um, saw some times where he looked for the ball, but we just went down court with it anyway. So, you know, that's probably something that Quinn and them got to iron out. Um, let's see. I mean, really, besides that, and that our backups tricked off the game. Um, I mean, that's to be expected, though, if the Hornets running like NBA actual starters against our backups. You knew it was going to happen. Um, but I'm not too upset. I ain't up really upset about the game, really. I'm just I'm ready for the playing game. Like we could skip they they could forfeit our last two games. I wouldn't even care at this point. Right. And then um and let's get to the playing game. That's all I, that's all I'm waiting for now. But let's talk to the homeboy Mikey up here, man. What's good, Mikey? What's good? Chilling, man, chilling. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> The Hornets, congratulations to the Charlotte Hornets, uh, beating the Hawks' third stringers, and, and beat Krejci, beat is not a third stringer. The, all, the rest of the guys were all third string guys. They played their full start starting lineup for the fourth quarter. They won the game by one point. Congratulations to the Charlotte Hornets. Yep. That was a nice play out, uh, that one that um, uh, that Bruno missed. That was a nice play out that time. Yeah, oh, it was. Uh, great, was nice. great pass by Kobe, great screen by Trent, great dump off by Trent, but Bruno... Oh, he had a horrible. Bruno was really bad tonight. Really yeah, bad. you gotta you gotta dunk that right there, especially yeah, yeah. with the game on the line, man. And mm -hmm. hopefully, huh, and, hopefully you and, get a foul or something call if you miss it or something. And, and the, the worst part about it, the worst part about it is like Bruno. Bruno over the last three games have been like his touch around the rim has just been so bad. It's just weird. Like he normally, normally he has he's been, he had had okay touch for the for the most of the season, but 
He's been really struggling offensively the last few times. And it was Grant Williams under there. Like, you got to finish that. Hey, uh, let me but, say, uh, hey, well, let me say something to you, Mikey. You know how Clint Capella <sighs> is so bad, right? <laughs> when we went down court, they wouldn't even try to go to no. him with Grant Williams on them. Nope. Bro, what? Yeah, like that was I, put. I don't know. That was sad, bro. I was like, Clint Capella got a guy. What's Grant Williams? Six what? Seven? I think he's six six. Hold on, let me double check that. <laughs> let me double check this. Uh, he <laughs> is. Um. Yeah, he's six six. <laughs> that is. It is hilarious. But yeah, we didn't even attempt to say, "Hey, go post you it." Can't score. Say, Mouse in the house, bro. We didn't even attempt to. Bro, uh, Grant at the beginning of the game, Grant Will was <laughs> standing there, dog. Like he wasn't yeah, even was... when Capella would go out to do the DHOs. Hey, he wasn't even going out there, bro. He would get right to the free throw line and just stand there. I was like, yeah, but if uh, if you if you put if anyone is putting stake in, in, into this game, I, I encourage you to take a step back, realize that this is an NBA game against. A lottery team and a and a team that is already locked into their seed, and it's on April tenth. The hey, the refs didn't want to be there neither, bro. No, they, they did not. No, hey, they did not. I they say, wanted hey. to get out of there. <laughs> they, they called up. They wanted to get out of hey, there. I said, uh, I said, if the refs could, if the refs could, we would have had a running clock the whole half, bro. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But they wasn't yeah, called a little, bit, a little bit more. At least Bo I thought they would sit bogey tonight, honestly. Like I, I figured DeAndre Hunter was gonna was was gonna rest. That I was no question about that. Uh Jalen, I thought he'd be out. DeJounte, DeJounte, I thought there was a chance. I honestly thought they'd rest bogey, DeJounte, Dre, and Jalen all in this game. Capella too, because they, they, there was no need to. They played all played 40 plus minutes basically uh yesterday, but uh, you know, Bogey, Bogey after a rough start, uh, overall had a really good game. I think I, thought Garrett... I think they played it for two reasons, Mikey. One, he, he he's had a pass. He's had some rough shooting games. Um, he, want, he he maybe he told him he wanted to play, and he wanted, like, and I think he wanted to go get the all time three points. Oh yeah, made. yeah, that's true. Yeah, congratulations to Bogey. Yeah. Big yeah, shout out to why, Bogey right there. I don't expect uh, him to but, play the next game. But and then also yeah, I think they really they, like I said the first time, I think really they wanted to let him get, get into a rhythm. Probably was like, hey, you had a couple of all shooting games. Let's go ahead, get you in the rhythm. Because he came out at third, not them threes, and he was gone. So I yeah, think that's all, to get also, him in the rhythm. We we saw the we saw the first first time in his career NBA rotation minutes from Moji. And I and I gotta say something about I love the effort from Moji. I love it. But my guy, a serious two serious back injuries, and you are going up for chase down blocks and falling on the floor rolling around. You might want to calm down a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. Hey, you just got. I love the gotta, effort. You got to fall correctly. You do, you do, you do. You but I love the effort correctly. from OG. He he hit his first NBA bucket there with that three. So c congratulations to him. But honestly, yeah, don't put too much in this game. I love the three point shooting. The offense was really good. Obviously, th through three quarters, the Hawks had 30 assists in this game. That's elite. And uh, no starters played in the fourth uh, besides Beat, obviously. Um, so, you know, this game, if you're looking at through three quarters, I thought Trey was pretty good. The turnovers, it, yeah, it's going to it's gonna happen. But at least he shot the ball well. It looked like he wasn't having too much ill effects with that brace. Uh, but the turnovers will go down as he gets back into game shape. But the Hornets were, you know, last thing I'm going to say, the Hornets blitzed Trey on every single pick and roll. He came back one game first. They blitzed him on every single pick and roll. So um he he was he knew he had to kind of play um play as a as a playmaker right here. And that's what he loves doing. So uh, I was pretty encouraged by that. And yeah, that's that's pretty much not a lot to take out of this game, to be honest. Yeah, that's why I not said, man, it, it ain't gonna be a long show tonight, man. I mean Yeah, yeah, now. trade trade some really nice passes, but those turnovers I'm I'm not worried about. They'll come down. Yeah. All right, Mikey. Let's bring on Pharaoh in the building. What's good, Pharaoh? What's good? Um, I'm gonna start off by saying I don't know we lost, but shout out to Brandon Miller. That's for y'all niggas who was arguing with me who when I agreed with them for taking him over school. I told you so. Ooh, when I dropped him, him when I dropped him, him, don't argue with me, pick them up and rejoice. Um, but mainly on us, I want to shout out Trey played night. I thought he played well for uh when he first came back. 
Um, didn't look like his finger was messing with him too much. Trey played well. Shout out to Trey. Shout out to uh, Garrison. Hit a couple threes. Shout out to the uh, the Macy's clerk. What's his name? The one who uh, the one Landry just signed a couple of months ago. I mean, uh, Whitler. Whitler. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I won't remember. Don't worry about. It. Don't worry about. It. I won't remember. Um, shout out to him. He hit a couple of threes. Shout out to Mo for hitting his first three. Um, I didn't realize that's all he had with points, but that's that's all right. You know, it is what it is. His first game. Um, he had more rebounds than the start of center, but I guess that's neither here nor there. I ain't trying to piss my guy's ticket and foot off. Um, shout out to shout out to my guy Hunter for getting a well deserved night off. Y'all can laugh if y'all want. My guy Hunter needed a night off. Um, and DJ, shout out to Quinn for giving DJ and Hunter a night off. I mean, he could have sat that Serbian bomb, but um, what, what? two out of three, man. Two out of three ain't bad. I can't stop. I'm sick of Bogey. Bogey, if Bogey ain't if Bogey ain't the epitome of a fucking roller coaster, I'm sick of Bogey. Wait, wait, wait. I, when, I, when did Hunter become your guy? I knew you was gonna do this. I can when I can I I give guy? this nigga. Can I not give this nigga praise without y'all? No, you can give him praise, this? but you can't say my guy like you've been riding with this guy the whole time. Where mad at? Wait, man. I know Matt go got something to say. You ain't gonna ride. You been hating on him the whole year. Now he your guy. No, you gotta say good game from Hunter. That ain't your god ho. Okay, good game from Hunter last night. A well deserved night off. Y'all just won't let me get this man some credit. But I, I said in it. No uh, <laughs> um. But you know, shout out to Quinn for giving at least two or three out of a night off. Uh and I done told you, so I go in the kitchen to fix me a salad. You know, game almost over. And I come back and I hear them hooping and hollering about some bum named Trent Forrest. And I said, oh, so he want to show up tonight. Um, I'm not going to get overly excited because it's Trent fucking Forrest. And what the fuck did he do at the end of the game? Listen, man. Listen, Double listen, clutch, but no fucking. Listen, Dead tree Forrest ain't it. Listen, Trent Ford saw the Michael Jordan video when he beat Cleveland. He tried to hit the free throw. Jordan do the double clutch over Craig Elo and swish it for the game winner. Hey, but he had that moment. He tried, I mean, I mean, even if he just would have shot the damn ball, it would have got the shot off. The double clutches would have got him blocked. I will send you $50 if you actually believe that you what you just said. Yeah, I said in the watch along. I said he thought he felt like Mike. Like Mike. I could be like Mike. I mean, everybody know that jump shot, man. That free throw bait, the, the double clutch over Craig Elo. That's what he did. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He just got his shit blocked. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, but for the most part, I thought the team played well, other than, you know, giving up a, what, 18, 19 point lead. Um, this April, who cares? Um, and it's okay. always, you know, the, you know, so so they do it. you know what's so funny about that though? We we've been doing that all year. Yeah, pretty much, especially in Charlotte. But um I thought they had them, but I mean, I guess I guess we gotta settle for the 10 spot. So uh right. I ain't always concerned with the loss. All righty. Let's hit up Mr. Matthew here. What's good, Matthew? Um <clears throat> So many things to take from this game. All right, Matt, um, you got three, you got three minutes, Matt. Pharaoh know he Pharaoh know he trolling with Hunter. Look, 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 I mean, I, look anyway, I'll address Pharaoh later. But um, I mean, so many things, so many positives, right? In a in a loss, you know, hold up, you told well, no, 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 Demon. When we lost <clears throat> the previous two months, it's been moral victory. So. That's what I'm gonna take a chapter out of your book. A moral oh, victory oh, tonight. Oh, you get you doing moral victories right now? I'm doing. Uh, I, yeah, just I'm doing hear, I just need to hear. I just need to hear you say yes one time. We doing yeah. moral victories. Mm-hmm. Okay. We doing I'm moral down. victories I'm tonight. I'm down. Okay. We we doing moral victories tonight. Go um, ahead. you know, I will um give uh somewhat credit to Mike. Um, uh, for crazy, but Mike, these are th this type Why of. Why gotta be a butt? Butt? I mean, because he he made some crucial mistakes, the fouls, the turnovers. But anyway, I need, um, I need to hear you say this before you talk about Vic. 
I need you to say this, Matt. Vet is an NBA player. He, he's an NBA player for the rest of the season, which has <laughs> like three games left. Um, Krejci, but Mike, Mike, I was talking to Mike yesterday about Krejci actually looking at the basket when he catch it. Like, it's fine to be a pass due out there, but you got to be respected as somewhat offensively. So if he can have games, obviously he's not going to have, what do you have tonight, 19 points? Ironically enough, he have his career high when a certain point guard comes back. But anyway, that's here nor there. But um, he, scored, he scored his career high when Trey didn't play too. I know. I said he, his career high, his new career high when a certain point It's guard. only one extra point. It's three extra points, but career, no, his career high was eighteen. I thought it was sixteen. No, you're wrong. In Chicago, I mean, no, I mean, it's 18. not sixteen in Chicago. Look it up. Somebody looked that up. Somebody, somebody looked that Back up. In the check, Matt. Back somebody looked check, that up. Matt. Somebody looked that up. But Krejci, I need him to. If he's going to play, I need him to be aggressive offensively. Now there were certain possessions earlier in the game where him and Gary St. Matthews got too shot happy. But um, overall, like I said, the ball moved. We had like 30 assists, 32 assists through three quarters. Um, our offensive rating was above a 130 through three quarters. I mean, you know, Mike, we're going to talk about it in open form tomorrow, but the assistant coach talked about how the guys actually wanted to run for Trey because they knew they were going to get the ball. And so they, they, they had a little bit more pop in their step playing with Trey filling the lanes and, you know, running up and down the court with more enthusiasm because they knew their point guard was going to hit them, you know. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that's – I don't know if he said that because of Trey. I don't know if he said that because the previous point guard couldn't hit those um, open looks down the floor. I don't know what that was about, but I thought that was a very interesting, interesting But Trey, I think Trey, Trey only made one pass tonight that – uh I will say that was something that Murray can't can't do or doesn't see. I mean, well, no, that, I'm just talking about the, the 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 comment about guys playing fast, guys running the floor more. You know, because they mm -hmm. they they know they're going to get the ball. They're 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 looking to get open off of movement okay. because they know that they know their point guard is going to give them the ball. So okay. um, I, I, we, we'll talk about it open form. I, but I thought that was a very interesting mm -hmm. comment, but. I mean, you could just look the first half, um, the first quarter even, like how stark we played today versus how we played the last two months. I mean, you know, that's the Trey effect. The gravity that I talked about, um, him being able to draw an extra defender, him being able to, to draw shade defenders so he could hit open guys and or and hockey assists over. to open guys. I mean, yeah, DeMond, uh, I would expect sure some. Because you, cause all these, before today, you, you would bring up turnovers. I'm waiting for you to bring up. Some I, I, I would, I would, I would expect some turbulence if you haven't played in almost two months. But overall, and Lat Demont also, I don't, I didn't hear what you said when I, before I came in. But um, Quinn did something that you talked about that you wanted to see him do, which was play the end of the bench guys. I said that's kept what I them said. out there. Okay, so I didn't hear. That. Yeah, keep them out there. He played the end of the bench guys. He did exactly what y'all want him to do. Um, you know, Kobe, he got to get stronger, you know, because his stuff is, I don't know why his shot's so short all the time. So he got to get stronger. Legs. Um, but I mean, overall, like, you know, it's not really anything to really kind of dissect too much. It's just the first three quarters, I think, if Dre can come back, um, you know, they said his, his knee is fine. They, it was just a precaution. Um, Murray, I guess they gave him the night off. Uh, it was interesting. He wasn't at the game. But um, so, I mean, you know, uh, if, if we could get everybody back, our leader is now back. Um, as I said this morning on Twitter, beer, bearded Trey is going to feed families. So, you know, we I, can told get into the plan. Grow, I told y'all he need to grow a beard. Uh, we get into the plan. Who knows? You know. We may be oh, able to now you get now you get night. Uh, who, oh who? no 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 no! Don't don't get it don't get it twisted. I'm not delusional. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we got a shot versus Boston. But I'm saying we we can have a good showing in the playing. All right, let me hit up Larry. Then we got Mike. Then we hit this open forum, man. What's good there, Larry? You on mute, Larry? Oh. 
What's going on, man? Hey, real quick. Hey, guys. Hey, salute Larry, man. Salute Larry. Larry, uh... Larry and them picked up uh picked up that new that new sponsorship, man. If y'all not on Larry channel, the Dixon Way, y'all need to get over there and holler at Larry and uh subscribe to the channel, man. Congratulations, that Larry. Appreciate you, fam. Appreciate you. Uh I mean, this is just a glorified scrimmage, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Uh things that I noticed, Trey Young could not go left. Um, all of his turnovers came when he tried to pass it out of his left hand. My bad. Hold on. Let me let me swing the mic around. Uh, all his passes when he tried to throw with his left hand were his turnovers. But like he was trying to prove a point. I, he had one scoop layup that he made with his left hand. He could not drive left. That's why they were trapping him and forcing him right. He couldn't turn and throw the ball out of his left hand. Like, guys, we're playing against the Charlotte Hornets, and I saw that. I just wanted to see, okay, this double team. Uh, other things I saw, I see that our coach just refused to uh, double team anyone that's hot. That's just a thing with him. Don't matter who it is, what team they're doing, Brandon Miller was the only person scoring in the first half. We still need double team. Um, I'm not worried about what the bench did. It is what it is. Matt trying to throw some shade, talking about, oh, he, he kept the bench in and we lost. Whatever, man. We ain't talking about keeping our whole bench in there and a whole bunch of G leaguers. We're talking about leaving in the hot man. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? If you can't see that, you're just being asinine. You know what I'm saying? You claim to be so smart about basketball. Stop that. Uh, yeah, again, I like, I don't like the turnovers, but again, every turnover he had was him literally seemed like he was trying to prove a point like he could play with it. Well, you can clearly see he had the cast on there. Anybody ever had like a uh, corporate tunnel in their wrist? Mm -hmm. He had that corporate tunnel uh, cast. So he had his two, his index and his pinky finger wrapped up. And then that cast basically has a slight bend in it right there. So that way he has still sound control because he got control with these right here. So when he dribbling and looks like that, yeah, he. He tried to trigger dribble. He still ain't had that control going over in that hand. He basically was dribbling with three fingers. So that's going to be something we have to watch. We play in the playoffs. And you play against the Sumo, you know what I'm saying, who will be up underneath your jersey. But we'll see, man. I like um, shooting. Like, he took his spots. He didn't force it. And, yeah. Vic, shout out to Vic, man. And I don't know why why he don't want to give Vic no um no props. They need to cut Trent Forrest and let Vic be on the playoff team because we're gonna miss Vic if he's not on this squad in the playoffs. We're gonna miss him sorely. Like seriously, we're gonna miss him. But yeah, that's all led into the uh form. All right, that's the homeboy Larry. Now we got Mike. What's good, Mike? Mike yo. Bill. Yo, 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 yo. What up, man? Um uh, I ain't gonna be too long, man, because you know I know we about to get to a forum and stuff like that. Uh, shoot, bro, it really ain't nothing to talk about, man. Um, I don't want to go at Trent, but man, like, bro, like that junk annoying to me, dog. <laughs> I mean, y'all know, y'all know how I feel, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all know I always talk about Vit and stuff, bro. I'm like, bro, how this nigga Trent get to play actually point guard before Vit? Like, we just Always throwing Vit at like the three or the four, but Trent get to play point guard basically, bro. I'm like, I don't know, bro. That's all I really say, man. You can bring everybody else up, bro. I, 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 that's just what really bothers me a little bit. I'm like, God dang, like we can't let Vit play point, and this nigga let Trent play point. I'm like, <laughs> you know, right, we only got two more people left, man. We got Ron, we got the historian, and we got uh Darian. What's good, Ron? What's popping with you? Well, Tim C. The Hawk. I, I just say this. I was getting stuff ready for tomorrow's interview with Mike Smith, you know, former Falcons coach. He's coming on to the bird cage tomorrow. And I was listening to Larry, Larry call the game, of course, while I was getting this stuff straight. Bruh, I'm I'm like Mike said, man, it ain't much to say. We took an L. Trey's rusty. You know, he still got to get his legs up under him. So yeah. you can't sit there and, you know, we lost the game, period. 
We lost the game. You can't just put that on this man. Yeah, he had turnovers, but here's my thing. I don't like him turning the ball over, but here's the thing. I'd rather him turn the ball over now opposed to turning the ball over in Chicago when we got to go play. That's, that, I mean, that's my whole thing. At this point, look, we got who we pretty much have who's going to be here. It's time to go ahead, take what we have, go to Chicago, collect this dub, and get ready for Boston. That's that's, that's all I got, bro. All righty. Let's go to the homeboy Darian in the building. I'm ready to go eat some ribs. What's good, D? What's going on, man? Ain't nothing much, my guy. Yo, like everyone's been saying, not really a lot to take from this game. I love the way Trey came in and he didn't try to force anything, man. He just played within the offense. So shout right. out to that. Um, yo, like this is go ahead and be honest. Vit needs to be like y'all said, Vit needs to be on the playoff roster, bro. Facts. He as Demon, if they carry Trent Forrest on this goddamn playoff roster, bro. If they it carry would be a, Forrest, but they it would make sense because that would be a Landry down because that's a Landry decision. That's out of Quinn's hands. Landry's the one that has to make that damn decision. I mean, well, Landry, sure. well, Quinn can tell him, hey, I need this man on my roster. Get rid of well, Trent. Oh, I mean, I agree to mine, but ultimately, Landry's the one that has to sign it to that damn contract. True, true. So that's why I say ultimately, it's on him. Yeah. But yeah, Vit needs to be on the roster. Matt needs to quit hating. And I'm good to go to the open forum, bro. All right, let's get to the open forum because I'm ready to go eat my damn ribs, bro. I'm hungry. I am hungry. <laughs> Give a shout out because y'all threw me off when I was trying to give Hunter some props. Shout out to Vid you know for being here. Yeah, Larry, you threw me I, off. Shout out to Vid for being the leading scorer at halftime. No, you can't hear some half ass side eye. Man, don't need to entertain Matt. Can we wait? Let's wait three minutes. You said for three more days. You got to hear me. What you want me to say? He had to Matt. Shout out to Vit for being the leading scorer at Matt, halftime. Who do you want? Like no one's going to be carried on this playoff roster. Either Trent Forrest or Big Face <laughs> is going to be on the playoff roster. Who you want? Apparently, we need MJ. That's tough. Need to have the How the hell is that tough? Dang, Matt it ain't, it ain't that tough. Because just say you don't want Trent. I mean, just say you want Trent. You don't want Vit. Just go ahead and yeah, say Are it. you seriously? It's tough. Like, between are you him and a horn for Cardio Lamb? Are you kidding? <laughs> No, he came in hard for Michael Jordan. The reason why, the reason why, the reason why I don't know if it, I don't know if it is going to um, make the playoff roster is because we know that we're going to go to an eight or nine man rotation. We already know that. I'll, I'll jump. So, hmm. who was he going to bump out of the rotation? JJ or um, JJ, Garrison Matthews? Why are you acting like Trent? Why are you like gonna be ready? in this eight or nine man rotation? Nigga, Trent. Hold on, man. Matt, you asked who he going to bump out the rotation? Yeah, because we're only going to a, a eight man, nine bro, man bro, rotation. We, we, we get that. I don't think anybody necessarily saying that he need to be like, I, well, I'm not. We get that. The, the thing people are saying that he needs to be on the roster. Yeah. On the roster, so therefore he's a bullet in the chamber just in case to use versus like looking down at the bench of options and it's freaking Trent in a just in case situation. Guess who's better? Guess who's um Vic Kreitcher is better, Matt? Guess who he's better than? Trent Forrest. He's better than Kobe. He's better than Trent Forrest right now as the backup point guard. No, no, don't tell him, Kobe. Tell me he's not, but I'm, good, I, I got, I got. Somebody I got the position. Back. I got the position y'all want him to play, but that's not what he is. So I'm what saying I'm at his position. Is, if you're gonna bring somebody on this roster for the playoffs or the play in, who are you gonna bring in? You got Trent Forrest, Cody Buffkin, who clearly isn't ready yet. I like his talent. Hopefully he developed more. And also I like his defense. I want him over Trent Forrest. But if I had to pick out of the three, I'm picking Vic Kreitchy. Okay. I mean, hey Mike, hey guys, say sorry. Hey Mike, then we see that Trey Young and Vit today. We stretched it to 12, didn't we? 14, <laughs> 16. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got what we wanted, then we did it look good. Hey, they, they look good, they want, man. They want to keep being denial, Kool Aid. Hey, Kool Aid. I know. 
Hey, cool. Like, they say they keep. Hey, 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 hey that Trey and that Trey and that Trey and Vic combo. Woo! Wait till you, hey, they, 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 they just now starting to play together. They I'm ain't really saying, playing man. together. I'm just, it's for me, it's just crazy because I hear the fans, like, for the past few years, y'all argue for players needing development, giving them some PT so they can, you know, da 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 And I'm just like, why it ain't the same for Vic with some folks? Like, like, you know, so he can grow, so he can develop. Like, like I don't know. I mean, I feel right. like a lot of fans see the potential, but yeah, like if he can get the time and stuff like that, he can start to work through those things that you talking about, Matt. Like that's that's, that's, that's in the G League, Mike. What, what? The weekend <laughs> thing tonight, I was at the Wait, game. You worked work work through things Bruno in the G League, Bars, man. but again, though, I did not hear that when it came to, comes to like other players, bro. That's all, man. Because they're not better just per se, but I, that's not consistent, though. Y'all don't be consistent with that. Uh, how they better? What's the I production? still want to. I still want to know. They're I, still I, I don't understand how you're saying how you even have to uh, think about. You talk about Trent versus Vince. I'm still on that. Court. It's not because it's not Trent Forrest versus Krejci. It's Krejci plays at forward. So I'm saying if I keep him on the roster and cut, like we, I don't think Kobe Buffin is playing in the playoffs. I don't think so. You think so, Trent's gonna play in the playoffs? I'm saying in an emergency situation. He so in an emergency best. situation, you why would you want him to an emergency instead of who's the best? Who, who, if, 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 if Kobe's not if Kobe. Kobe's not playing, who's the best guard defender on the team? Vit. Vit. He's not a guard. There, you, know, you know the problem he with what the problem was with, with that Trent Forrest. I know what y'all want him the to whole be. Of the I'm talking about what he is. With Kobe, he is not a Kobe. Time out, Matt. You got your electronic devices right there. Your phone or laptop. Like literally, bro. I want you to Google Vit, bro. Like, look at him. Like, go back to when he was overseas before getting drafted. Him, okay. See, this man ain't never been listed as no dog on small four. No, he hasn't, man. He's never he hasn't been played. Listed he, he, was he, he hasn't four. played Matt, four. He hasn't answer. played four with us since he's been here. Matt, Matt, Matt. We play him out of position with and that's Josh Grid. Get it? Get, they basically hedge they bet, kind of like what the Atlanta Hawks did with. Uh, DeAndre Hunter and Cam. They drafted Vit and they drafted Giddy. Giddy was better. Okay, they so went with Giddy. And they, they got traded SBA and in. they traded Vit to us. That's what happened. I Me get the backstory, Larry. I'm just a, I'm, I'm just asking y'all what has he played since he's been in Atlanta? So you're Not saying that want. our coach is too dumb to play him at the right position. Okay, I mean, you got it. You're right. No, I bet you play Matt, four you years. That's not a good argument, Matt, because you DJ a point guard. What has he played since he's been in the lap? He's a guard. Hey, he's a no, guard. He's a guard. He's, he's, he's still been playing shooting guard, which he ain't. When we took that four guard, guard on he's he's a, a, he's he's a, he's a the playing small court or power court. The only reason Vic Christy got on the court is because JJ got hurt. Okay. That's my point. So I'm saying he's not. They don't mean he's a guard. They don't mean he's a point guard. I understand what you're saying, man. What I'm saying is that our dumb coach don't use him correctly. That's what I'm saying. That's what Mike is saying. That's what most of the people on the I get, I get that. I'm just saying that's a separate conversation. So, so again, you're admitting that the genius is dumb at coaching sometimes, right? Well, I mean, with his rotation, well, he, he had like, no choice to use. You know him in that, that, that JJ spot. Oh no, I know that. I know. I understand that Kool Aid. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, if we're going down the line, and we say, okay, uh, to maximize Vic Crisis' potential, we should probably play him at backup shooting guard or backup point guard. Because that's what he is. At the very least, just play small four a little bit. But we've been playing that power four out of necessity because we had so many injuries. I understand that. What I'm so, saying so, is, so if we need, so, so, so where he started, so Larry, so, so who we, was on? Who was the starting five? The starting five. Um, Vic Krejci was playing power four. Uh, Garrison Matthews was playing small four. Bogus was playing shooting guard. Trey was the um, point guard, and you had Clint Capella at the center. That was our starting lineup. So we had him playing at power forward because JJ's out. Uh, and we don't know when JJ's coming back. So you're assuming that JJ's going to be magically back with that ankle turned sideways. So I don't know, man. I think Vic needs to be on this. So that, that, that five took us to a 14 point lead, right? Yep. Took us to a 17 point lead. Okay. So, so <laughs> therefore, it shows you that Trey played very well with that five. 
Yeah, spray you know why? Bit, because you had with even with Wilder, because you caught with Wilder, oh, because he, even when Wilder came in, I told you if you got good catch and shoot players, you're gonna get more out of Trey in, 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 in basketball. It's some it's easy offense. Yeah. I mean bogey was loving it's easy offense. And then you got you got those catching shooters like like Wilder, like Garrison Matthew, and like Fit that can go back mm -hmm. then and go play defense. That's easy. That's easy ball, man. Well, Lou that's easy ball, but we don't, Lou we don't understand that. Did y'all see that pass Vit had to Kobe at the top of the That was the best. That was the best pass of the game. Ridiculous. That was the best pass of the game. It by far was the best. Trey had the second best with the no look straight down the middle on a dime touch pass with the right hand. Yeah, that was the second best. Vit had, had the best, best pass, pass in the game. It's not Who even had? debatable, man. Who had the best pass again? Vit. Vic 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 the pass to Kobe at the top of the key. <laughs> Mike, I see what you're doing. You starting. You stirring a pot. Mike, Mike, you stirring a pot. Bruno killed us today, man. Bruno killed, Bruno killed us today, man. Yeah, Bruno he, he was really did. Yeah, they got Bruno was on three throws. He missed the. He missed. Yeah, he should have slammed that at the end, man. He got hey, fouled. He, he was yeah, acting like, like Bruno. I don't know. He was acting like Bruno. I'll be real with today. you. Like you were talking about Vit, I consider Vit for those who, if I can show this, I ain't gonna show the whole thing. But just like a hollow point, Vic is to the point. Vid is like a hollow point, dog. I'm pulling out the, you know, got to pull out the artillery a little bit. Vid is they do. De defensively, I'm just being real. As a backup, I honestly think he would actually really help us in the playoffs. It's big time. More so than Trent Forrest. Trent, Easily more than Trent Forrest. It's not even a question. I mean, I mean, but see, now see, right now I'm being nice because see, I'm, 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 I'm upset with losing. But I also know that we got to go to Chicago. And yeah. I understand why Quinn did what he did. I don't agree with it like that. But, hey, at the end of the day, we still got a game, a play-in game in Chicago. Yeah. The number 10 Hawks got to go in, handle business, do what they got to do. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all see that? My hey, bad. Quinn might have been looking right. at that fourth quarter with those guys just to see who, gonna, who he going to take up with this team. Say like he got to make a decision. He probably was, follow, was right. scouting that fourth quarter with these guys. Cool, and I, hope Trent lost, I, I hope Trent failed. <laughs> cool, and I got a question for you. Do you really believe in these next two games that we have before we get to the playing tournament? Do you really believe that Quinn right now is not really worried about winning these games because we already got our fate? And do you believe that he's trying to scout and see who's going to be able to help us out in crunch time situations? Or yeah. if somebody goes down, do you believe that Quinn right now, like you're saying, is doing yeah. surveillance right now and not worried yeah. about winning games at this yeah. point? Yeah, cause cause you saw you saw that Charlotte still had their players on the floor against that against that those and those they struggle <laughs> and they struggle and, and and like I say, if a few Bruno uh, free <laughs> throws would have been made, we'd have won this game. Well, I mean, just free throws. We know, we know Bruno, Bruno free throws <laughs> lost our games. Lost the game, period. Yeah, but we know that Bruno can't hit free throws, man. How about your coach? But that's not the point. The point, I'm just saying, uh, his, his free throws lost the game. Larry, I understand he can't Larry. hit them, but his free throws yeah, lost the game. Larry, but yeah, let's be real, man. Them free throws that he was supposed to hit tonight disappeared as fast as a, as a temporary visa for a damn Haitian coming over here trying to get land, dog. Let's man, just be I, let's be real with that. That shit But that just show me that I, I we don't have no problem. Like, who throws. was that? <laughs> who would that who would that yesterday was saying our problem really not without our who was the front the back court the front court is the centers and the forwards, right? Yeah. Yes. So really when my man was talking yesterday, our problem who, who uh, on with, with the mind today, the guy who on there with the mind today he did in his early game, he said our problem is not the front court, it's the back court on defense and offense. That's where we got our problem. You talking about back court as in the guards, right? No, I mean, I'm talking front court. Okay, so I'm saying front, we, front court as for the centers, the centers, and the in the four, in the power four. That's no, no, where our weak is. That's where we. That's where we are weak at defense and offense. Finish your always. That's that, like person. the dude said. If we if we, if we change that, man. We we change that. We we can look good, man. Say, I think we weak at both spots. Like we got, like we got a weak front court combined with not necessarily weak like scoring and skill wise back court. 
but weak as in like Defense they, they undersize and they can be taken advantage of on the other end. You know what I'm saying? Due to they being undersized, so it's like it's a bad combination, bro. It's, it's, it's in my I mean, in actuality, well, with Vit on the floor, the deep with Vit on the floor and with Trey with Vit down, the defense didn't look bad. The defense didn't look bad. I mean, they kept them. They they, they was really under 100 to they they played playing the rookie. 60, he, 60 by the third quarter. That that hey yeah, but cool. You know, I mean, they played. They looked good. But Kool Aid, here's the question. Now, everybody, we're talking about when they look good in the game. My problem is this: when you have a lead at the end of the game, and you had literally enough points to pretty much put them away. Yeah, with 38 seconds. It's no, no, no. I'm going to ask you my question, Larry, because oh, yeah. I know oh. you were saying rookies, but this is my question I got for you because you you were there. you breaking it down perfectly. Um, When are we going to get guys that's going to be able to have a killer instinct at the end of the game? Even on the bench, you got to have guys that's cutthroat, period, to finish a game. Because when that I, I game is in the bag, when, who who's going to be the guy to step up for us at the end? I was hoping yeah. it was going to be Kobe Bufkin. Uh, uh -huh. first uh -huh. And Forrest had the ball it, in his hand. The guy who voted to step up at the end was Bruno. He had yeah. all, he had all the shots to step up at the end, and he did not show up tonight. Period. The, throughout the whole game, Bruno had like he didn't want to go through the pick and roll. He was slipping picks. He won seven picks. He won. He won defending. Me and the guy was just looking back and forth like, "What the heck wrong with this dude, man?" And, and he did not, and, and that was the on. problem right there the whole game. <laughs> And then Trent Forrest, the problem with Trent Forrest the whole game, because everybody else played a game to win. Trent Forrest and his play, that's why I say you can't get a guy that just a defensive guy that can't score. He got to play both ends. Trent Forrest's problem is that he slows and messes up the offense when he's on the floor. Bro, they, they let him play. But when you were, when, 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 when Vit and and, and Wilder, Wilder, whatever name, Wilder and yeah, Garrison Matthews on that floor with it's Kobe, just call him Mason Plumlee. I'm not going to put I'm not going to put Trent. I'm not going to put Trent. I'm not going to put Trent. Believe me, Garrison was trying to Trent. That's why he played the whole fourth quarter to see what Trent was going to do. I'm sure he's going in in the chat. Y'all better go check that. I he got to know what the really fuck Trent was doing before the fourth quarter. But I mean, I, but, but, I mean but, but I know, I, I know y'all bad. It's stress, I, no I, doubt. But he's just gonna skip from the roll. I know y'all. Y'all have right. typically bashed uh, Quinn, especially Larry, in the game. Um, oh yeah, I definitely uh, do. Uh, right. So, <laughs> but if you watch, if you if you watch, I know, I know you do. If you watch, if you what, watch, if you if you watch the end of the game, that the the final play was actually for Vet Krejci. He was yeah, 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 yeah. They, they cut him around, around yeah, the they screen did. They did. for they did. three, right? Yeah, they so, did. you know, I mean, I'm, you know, tonight, the I last know few weeks, he's had, he's you had did, night. Did no, no, you just did. It wasn't good. It was good. Well, how do y'all know? I just want to know how y'all know. I mean, I'm the, because. The, the I, I, thought ran, I, saw him, I thought I saw him open for a little bit. coming Because two things, Mike, if you pay attention to the when they broke the huddle, Quinn ran up to him and told him to relax. I saw and then talk to two, him. I saw two, that, that when he came off that screen, it was it, he Quinn Snyder runs that play all the time, yeah. where you, you yeah. run off of an Iverson cut around the screen. And then come the back. But a three. smart coach, I feel like a smarter coach would like, I don't know me. So in, my, the in, my, in my final, in my final play, bro, with a few floor. seconds left. I'm just saying, bro. The very that's first cool. action when everybody's breaking, that's not my go-to person, bro. Like just me. <laughs> So a that's why our coach would have took Trent to off the floor. That that if it was for me, it shouldn't have been the first in the sense to come around and stuff. We are like analyzing. That. We are analyzing a play right now where the best shot creator on the floor was Kobe Buffin. <laughs> We just brought it up. They said it was for Vit, so I'm just trying to ask why. No, I'm yeah, I mean, I'm surprised he ran it for Vit. Quinn was not trying to win, man. No, he wasn't. Quinn said, well, he ain't told me, but I already knew what he was doing. Which is fine. I ain't tripping on the L. Yeah, I don't blame him. They yeah, wasn't trying to win when they sat everybody. When you saw the yeah, stuff coming into the game tonight, you already knew it. The whole yeah, DeJounte. Yeah, DeJounte. Yeah, DeJounte. They're just resting everybody at this point. Uh, 
Yeah, we yeah. Got yeah. And they show and they should. Yeah, yeah, because you getting ready to go that's into a play in with Chicago. That's so it is what it is. You win that, you got to go to Miami. One thing about say, you know what? I might we're going to get a good 20 minutes out these dudes. Just in case, I might mm-hmm. need one of these dudes yeah. for a plan to play off. Somebody might get hurt, so so I might go get these boys some burn. I mean, now yeah, bro, don't get me wrong. None of them, none of them can make the playing team. I don't, I just like, I don't like the way. I don't like the way the coach tricked off the lead. That was awful. Yeah, that's. But, I thought. I, mean, I thought the, the bench should have at least been able to hold that. At lead. the end of the day, man, like like I was saying on the post. I mean, saying on my watch yeah. long, bro. They could forfeit these last two fucking games. Let's yeah, it doesn't matter. Game. And and oh, I mean, uh, 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 Mike uh, Moji can't play the game. The time for, for, you for, gotta get Moji some biscuits and some gravy, ball, dog. He he like that. Got, I mean, they gonna do this, man. Moji can play I'm probably the play gonna in do the playoffs. The, uh, but here's the yeah, thing: you Mo-G need to get Moji some damn weight first before you try. He's kind of skinny, but I think he played well, though. No, he played well, but you got to put some weight on him. Get the jump, get the jump, some collard greens, some neck bones, and some yams. Boy, skinny the boy light in the ass, bro. Mo Gay looked bro. real goofy. I'm, I'm just saying, put a little weight on him, man. Help him out. No, no seriously. Yeah. Mo is yeah. 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 a skill guy. Gonna be a really good, Mo's he's going to be a really good, good player. No, we know he's going to be good. What we're saying is you got to get his body to catch up with his game. He made that one. Yeah, I do. I need to pick some weight on him. you see the potential in Mo but you see no potential in this. This is crazy to me. Like, That's I'm just because Matt is the black skill Bayless, man. What you expect? Well, look, look, ask the mom. When we drafted Mo G, I said that that Landry hit the jackpot. Okay, that, he didn't draft him. He traded for him. He traded for him. Drafted big dog. him. Trade for him. Same thing. Him. Same thing. No, no it's not. not. No, it's he, not. He passed on him. He, he used and then looked and said, "Oh, I didn't get a big." Up in the draft, he used the second round pick to move up in the draft. He used a second round pick and a future second to move up in the draft to get uh, to get Moji. So that was yeah, after that. I, I call that a draft. I call that a draft pick because he didn't have a pick. He did not have the. He did not have the pick. It was announced after the um, draft. And he moved up in the draft to get him. Okay. It was announced when after the, the draft. Man, when the, because that's how most trades are. When the when the Falcons moved up to get AK out of Penn State, that that that, that wasn't that technically dominated. their pick, Man. but. Landry is as funky as the elastic in the fat man's draws in the summertime, bro. Stop it. Stop it. When it come to him dra- when it come to him trading, that's how that's how bad he is. He stank that bad. You, you will see. Please. What, what, bad, what, bad, what, what bad trade has he done? We're not There's saying bad trade. Great. We said drafting. Huh? Did you hear me? I said drafting. What? Not we'll trading. What Landry made all, three of our, all, three, all three of our picks I'll be fair. are pretty good. So who's I'll the put bad it this way. When they, I'll put it this way. When they win a playoff series with the guys he brought in, when they start winning, then we can start saying it. But until then, he's suspect they, as hell. They're rookies. What? How, How do you know they're good? The they've, been, they're they've been in College Park all year. How do you know they're good? Exactly. I'm confused. Because I, I mean, watched. he was good at he was good in College Park. This how you Ooh. know. This, this how you know if they good when they go down to the G League. If they dominate the G League, they're NBA players. Yeah, Buck and dominated. It was dumb. Absolutely dominated. If they, if yeah. they a legit NBA player, they will go to a G League yeah. game. They will. I mean, hell. Yeah, it was dominated. Did you see what uh, Isaiah Thomas did when he went down to the G League? <laughs> 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 he like, Isaiah Thomas, like, man. Yeah, I'm gonna say Lil Isaiah been most, but Lil Isaiah be killing it though. Oh, he that's what I'm saying. He's just the worst Thomas defender. Isaiah Thomas, 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 I hate that man game with a passion. You go to G League game. You, you, I knew you would hate his game. Bro, I absolutely hate his game, bro. I hate watching him in pickup games. I'm like, bro, I can't play with this little nigga. I, I slap him in the head so quick, bro, or walk off the court. Like, bro, if you don't pass the ball, man. How you that short and never pass, dog? Like, I don't care if you can't get buckets, bro. Like, I hate point guard. Bro, that's worse than Trey. Trey passes. DJ all them. Isaiah Thomas, and he wonder why he ain't in the league. Nigga, you 5'8 and don't pass a lick. <laughs> he got inspired no by that 44 shot attempt. Nobody, game, nobody like. needs your scoring, Isaiah Thomas. Nobody needs that from you. Not at your size. Like, bro, anybody can really shut that down when it comes to winning moments. Like, bro, like that's mm. man. Like, get, never mind. Man, 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 bro, bro, hold on. Wait a minute. Hey, you all right over there? So, Mike, Isaiah. 
So that's your Cam Reddish. Y'all know me, bro. I really I hate I mean, I know. Oh my God. Well, I know who well, took Mike, the mic. Mike, you was playing all that with your chest. Well, we played out there talking with the Al Horford, Al Horford, I mean. Yeah, yeah no. Um, hey, 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 Pharaoh. <laughs> my, hey, Pharaoh, Mike was saying that with his chest. All yeah, he can't, that's why I know he can't say that. I know he don't like Horford. I know he don't like Jimmy Butler. Y'all don't say his name I'm with, right. I'm hey, with Mike on that. Hey, Jimmy hey Butler. you saw that? I'm you with, saw that one dread standing up on the back of his head? That joke started to go Jimmy in. Bro, be I don't know with Jimmy, bro. Play, Ever bro. since he put his hands around Trey Neck, bro, that jump really just pissed me <laughs> off, dog. I'm yeah. like, why ain't nobody drop kick this nigga, bro? Like, y'all Trey ain't fighting. <laughs> Real, right, 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 right. Yeah, right. I said that too. Trey got that's my thing, dog. If you don't need to too valuable to the team, he can't he he can't get suspended. He's too valuable. Y'all ain't listening. Y'all ain't setting the tone, man. If you gonna let somebody punk you, dog, it is what it is. Hey, it is what it is. You don't let nobody put hands on you, dog. Give three years. Give three years. He's gonna be he's gonna be beasting. Who Moji? I believe. Oh, size-wise. Size wise, yeah, they right. gotta get yeah, they gotta get him in the weight room and they gotta put some food, they gotta put some food Three on years. them real. Three years he gonna be he gonna be just like Giannis. He's gonna be swole watch. He gonna be swole. It won't it ain't, it ain't worried about that, man. It, I, I wouldn't like I, I wasn't worried about this game tonight either, man. Like I had I yeah, had more fun talking to Kuzo. I had more fun. I had more fun talking to Kuzo about his damn cooking than, than watching the game. Shit, that nigga yeah, Kuzo, some, his ass off. Shout out Kuzo. Right. I say he went on a little random tangent for a while. Well, that boy Gerald going in in the chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not even worried about hey, Gerald. Mike, during the game, I was on the Hawks. Uh, hey, Gerald, the Hawks. Hey, Gerald, Gerald going hard. Gerald is dissecting <laughs> a game on April, 10th, on, on April 10th, 2024, against one team that's in the lottery hey, and another team that's you know locked what? into I'm the season. I'm not worried about it. Gerald that is put crazy. that analysis that is in when we actually, lost to Portland actually crazy. and Utah. Y'all know how much I like to go into – Look, y'all know how much I like to go into the game and break it down. <laughs> Gerald is doing way more than I'd ever do in a game <laughs> in April right now. Bro, he's 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 standing Ooh. on that whole trade PJ like it's narrative crazy. right now, bro. Like it's right now, crazy, like we like, it ain't nothing to talk about. Oh, oh that's what I wanted to talk about. That's what I wanted to talk about. What, what do y'all think about what that assistant coach said about guys running the, the floor better or running the floor with more energy because they knew they was gonna get the ball. I the rather hear from the players than a fucking assistant coach. That's what I think about it. I'm just, you don't got to bash him, man, because you disagree. Just, no, no, he didn't, man, no, he didn't bash him. I'd rather hear from the horse's mouth than somebody who ain't the one running. They, did, they didn't yeah. run no faster today. Hmm. No, he said guys or guys. Who you going to try to jump on that? More I'd rather running. hear the players say That's what they want to say than someone who ain't actually running. What I said was he had to find – he had to find – look, he had to find something – or whatever to try to validate his point. As soon as day. I heard that, I, I said, "Let them jump on that." I, I didn't I, know y'all saying, heard but when, it. But when did you when did you really see the difference, though, Matt? What's going on, foot? What's up, my man, John? Hey, hey, I'm, hey, I'm waiting for tomorrow, Brian. I'm waiting for tomorrow. What's up? Oh, 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 oh my bad. I ain't even talking about that, man. I'm talking about the Hawks, bro. Okay, Brian. Brian, you waiting for my interview, foot? He's supposed to be having me on tomorrow night, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all check in, man. Okay. We got we got the winningest Falcons coach coming into the building. We got Mike Smith. I'm oh. sorry, bro. I you know I got love for you, dog. But I ain't seen you on them sidelines with that blonde hair like Mike Smith. We got him coming in the coming blonde in the camp hair, tomorrow man. night, man. Hey, man. So we should never fired him, man. We're on firing the Mike Smith like that, man. Mike. Smith's it's a few coaches that should have never been fired in Atlanta. <laughs> He's one of them. Lehman hey, Reeves. Say it wasn't his fault. But uh, I hey. I got a question. Do y'all think it was right that they fired Lenny Wilkins when they did? Since we talking coaches, Lenny, yeah, I don't like yeah. it. Time was up. Well, I know. Nobody nobody say I, know. I heard cool. <laughs> time was up. It's not necessarily before my time, but I wasn't necessarily. I don't like it. Sometimes, sometimes, hey, just run push. out, man. But you remember I told you that wasn't on him. That was a management call. That wasn't him. Yeah. He tried to I keep know. him here. I know why you. I know why you said that. That's yeah, right. That's yeah. right. You you you, 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 you down. My bad. The other uh, last. Yeah, that wasn't on Lenny. Yeah, Lenny. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Remember, so Lenny called. Lenny remember, Lenny, Lenny called hell. Remember, Lenny called hell for that. But it wasn't Lenny. It was. It was. Right. It was Pete Babcock and them boys in that front office. Yeah. They just used Lenny as a scapegoat. 
Right. Yeah. Because yeah. Leonard was a good coach now. Don't get it twisted. That's, that's what I'm saying. Because think about I it. Mean, he was. He was the most winningest. Like, it, when it's yeah, he was. Yeah, right? he was the but, but, but I mean, here's Hawks the question. Yeah. Why do we get rid of this? Is just a question because right. we talking about the Hawks too. Because the Hawks have Hawks have done it. Why do we get rid of coaches that win, but they go elsewhere and they win elsewhere? You ever notice that? Ownership. Who knows who wins a championship? Ownership. Everybody else we've had have won playoff games, but Ownership. we get rid of. Ownership. 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 We've always had messed up owners, bro. Like that's what Ownership. always threw us over. Since Ted Turner sold the Hawks, they've it's been downhill. Yeah. But hell, it was bad because Ted Turner for the longest didn't even try to build around Nick when he was here. That's what I'm saying. And then you can argue Ted Turner didn't value the Hawks. Well, I, think Turner, I think Ted Turner. I think Ted Turner did with the Hawks Ted Ted because we asked Ted him Turner to take a little ownership in the Hawks. I agree. I agree. Man. Um, Kool Aid. Uh, he more was man. into the Braves. And he is so a marketing, he was a that was marketing guy. That's why. That's why. That's what he was focused on. I don't. I don't. I don't hold Ted Turner none. The ASG is where my my problem is. Ever since the yeah. ASG took over the Hawks, it's uh, been the fucking city. And then Tony Wrestler has followed up being. Can anybody tell me the last time the Hawks paid the luxury tax ever? Sure. I we just paid it this year. When you paid this year. No, we ain't no, paid. Nah. We ain't paid the luxury tax. We was we under, bro. Paid, oh, we right. under by nine. We, are, we will be over the luxury tax if they go into the offseason with this current roster, though. Okay, so that's what I was hearing. I was hearing. Which is why but we I know that's not changing. People, we, I mean, we know that's changing. You're <laughs> not going to. That's why I keep telling people you're not finna see no drastic change. Your, yes, your you first are. thing should be. No, I, I think if I, Tony I, Wrestler, I think you will tell them. He does not want to pay the tax. I told this you, Demond, he's going into the tax. tax. I told you he's going into the tax. I, I don't know if he'll go into the tax, Matt, but I, I don't believe will be I don't think he'll go into the tax, but I think there will still be definitely significant changes on this roster. When you hey, say I will go, I will go, go into a luxury like, tax with uh, the uh, at least but when I try least, I don't have no I don't have a one all star in this line. You think I'm going to luxury tax with his line? Demond, you know why? Demond, you know why they're not gonna bring and Dejounte there. Sir? Okay, wow. yeah, I agree with that. Because Steve Cooner already said this this rock, they told ownership the roster don't fit Quinn's system. So we but already know that they're going to get rid of Quinn and Bogey. I'm happy. What I'm saying is this. That's probably they're going to get rid of Bogey. <laughs> the, <laughs> <owner, laughs> the reason I don't accept that excuse, the reason I don't accept that excuse is because under Tony Wrestler, he's had 262 Eastern Conference final teams, and he chose mm -hmm. not to add nothing significant to those teams to continue or build on the success that we've had when you had the 60 win team he chose not to go on attacks he let damari carroll leave we had no replacement for that when went you looked Toronto. at when we went to the when we went to the conference finals with uh trey he chose to give john collins all the money and not go out and add somebody else to the to that team instead of giving collins 125 million he could, if you're gonna spend that money, he could have went out and got us a, a, a better player. He chose not to do that, and guess what's gonna happen this but year? The, In the all season, listen, they're gonna trade Murray. You're gonna get you gonna get a bullshit return on Murray, right? Clap it up, clap it up, because you're gonna get a bullshit return on Murray. No, then they he's won't. gonna tell Landry get under the cap. He don't excuse me, get under the tax. He don't want to pay the tax. When you look at our pay, when you look at the uh when you look at our uh our salaries, you got to get under – you getting rid of players and not two. taking salary back. That's what about to happen. I want to say – I'll say this. I, I said two things and then I got to go. Point. I don't think I, – I mean, I get people's frustration because lately the trades for the Hawks have not been good. But I do not think the return for DeJounte all, – all signs point to they're still going to explore trading him in the offseason so far. Um, I don't think the return is going to be bad at all. Can I I don't think I don't think it's gonna be bad at all. Can I ask you're not you? You're not gonna get the value that you you should. You're be gonna, it's gonna be higher market. than this deadline, though. It's gonna be yeah. higher than than can, it would be at this deadline. Question, Mikey. Bro, when 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 has the Hawk done a good trade? What was the last like 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 good trade for the Hawk? When he got Sadiq Bay. That's a lie. No, no, five seconds for Sadiq Bay was a bit of an overpay. I thought. 
a bit of what? over it's a Bro, I won't even, I'm not even can trying to name, can, can y'all name, can, can y'all name you think uh, Sadiq Bay, you pick? think Sadiq Bay was a good trade in addition to no, this team I don't. or something like that, then can you, I don't like, know. Like, can you name no, him? Like, if I that's don't. what you went to name, that's part of my problem that I have. Then we trade, we trade for, um, Joe Johnson, that might be it. Did Joe Johnson come on his own? He got three. Can any of y'all name the last five second round picks? I got you. In the chat, he telling y'all the last good Hawks trade that actually made an impact on the team. And that was Mike Bibby, bro. Like, this franchise. Yeah, no, the last yeah. impact was Gallinari. Yeah, but Gallinari, Bogey, and, and Lemon Pepper Lou. Those were the best moves that were made. You know, we started out with Rondo. We had Rondo to start that season. No, but the B that was a good trade. That was a good trade. We had Rondo to start that season. Both of them. They started building. They started building. They really got Bogey. Who stay here for like three months or something? Bogey. If you're not, if you here for a year. Uh, a half or something that don't count as a good trade. I mean, Gallinari, Gallinari. Well, well you gotta say, Lou, you Lou. gotta say, Lemon Pepper Lou was a good trade because when we was in that Philadelphia playoff game, Lou, Lou literally found his legs in that in that game and had that hell of a comeback. The Ooh, night before and the night before yeah, that 25 down, down. that 25 that, down that, 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 exactly. That, 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 all of y'all, all of y'all are disrespecting the uh, Sadiq Bay trade. No, five seconds won't make the team. Mikey, 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 who was our five? Mikey, Mikey, who was our last name, five name, second round pick? the last time a lot of players got traded for five second round picks. If you're a lottery pick has, on one of the worst teams in the league and they give you up for five seconds, and everybody has different game? opinions. Everybody hey. has different opinions on how much they value second round picks, but I think five was too much. That everybody you never five, 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 no, uh, you didn't say that. Don't try to move the goal. I can name some great second round picks over the last few years. Uh, what's no, 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 my no, 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 draft pick? Uh, that the Hawks draft pick. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to ride Alamaze. out, man. Y'all can have it. This thing is. It's a little too much, man. I'll see you tomorrow, bro. What's my guy we got from Villanova that we that couldn't stop eating? Jordan, oh, that, was, that was the first round. Amari Spellman? Amari Spellman. Yeah, oh, my gosh. That was that's <laughs> Yo, I, I don't oh, know. If, he was, uh, what else? Was first round pick. There was any first round pick. Guys, that's if there was any finish. pick. If there was any pick during the Trey Young era. Year, the only thing the Hawks didn't do this year that we normally do was do cash consideration. Exactly. If there was any pick in the Trey Young era that I would go back and redo, it would be that Amari Spellman pick. You want to know why? Hey, Bernardo, a finisher got a good point, though. Hey, we trade better than we draft, though. No, we. That's not good. <laughs> uh, look, look, hey, they both kind of suck. If there's any, if there's if there's any draft line, pick, you and TJ hit on it earlier, man. I, I didn't have a chance to get on there with you and TJ on it when TJ stopped by. Mm -hmm. Y'all brought up some uh, interesting takes, specifically that uh, 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 KD. You oh yeah, 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 well, yeah. I was thinking, that, man. That, yeah, that. Now you go and attack for that. I don't yeah, think KD possible. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I think you, 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 you do DJ, I DJ, and whoever I you would say. I think they'll get rid of Bill before Cody. What? Hey, hey, DJ and some of the other people he was saying. I don't know if TJ brought up, but that was a good one. I want to go back to Stunman while we're on. We brought up KD because I brought up Paul George. Yeah. Because he was saying, Yeah, I want to go back to that as well. All right, TJ was saying the problem with our defense is the front court. He said we we can get better no. defense on the front court than 
it can help when you run and trade and Murray. So I, said, now, I disagree with well, that part, but go ahead. Well, I said, I, I, I said I but what about a Paul George? I'm confused. So Paul KD George. helped the front court defensively? Is what he was saying? No, 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 no. That one, no, no, no. They was talking about. Uh, I was get, bringing up Paul George. Trade, I said, trade, can Paul George. Some, get, get I will always back. say perimeter yeah, defense think, is more important than uh, backline defense. Always. I say if you go get Paul George, I think. Magic are a perfect example. I think that covers up a lot of our. It, it helps us on the defensive side of the ball. They can't and score, Mikey. I, no, Matt, all I'm saying is I, I, think you, I think perimeter, Paul defense, more realistic perimeter defense will always be more important to me than back line and front court defense because the Magic, perfect example of that. Window Carter, Paolo Banquero. What the heck is going on with my computer? Can you all hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my screen just went black. I don't know what's happening. Uh, you, but, ain't used, you ain't used to us being quiet, huh? <laughs> Every look, that, like they have Jalen Suggs. The storm. My my computer went. Jalen Suggs, Anthony Black, um, you know, Don, Jonathan. I like all these guys out on the perimeter. But Wendell Carter, horrible win protector. Mo Wagner, horrible win protector. Gogo Dehadze, he's a he's an okay win protector. Paulo Moncaro, not a good win protector. Not a good help side defender. So like, and, and the Rockets, Amen Thompson, Fred Van Fleet, uh, Jay Sean Tate. Alpine Shangun, horrible defender. Jock Lando, horrible defender. All these, all these guys I just listed, though. Same with the Pelicans. Jonas Valanciunas. I wouldn't defender. say our man is a horrible defender, but go ahead. No, our man is an elite defender, but he's on oh, the okay. I thought you said horrible. He's okay. an elite defender. So that, that's what I'm saying. That's why I always think perimeter defending will always be uh, like take more more prioritized than uh, front guard defending. But I, I brought Amari Spellman back up because, and this ties into the, what we're talking about now. If there was any draft that I'd change, I would change that pick because Bruce Brown and DeAnthony Melton, two of the more underrated players in this league, in my opinion, especially in perimeter defense, were taken right after him. Those would be the absolute ideal perfect shooting guard if you could go back in time and put those them with Trey and develop into the players that play now. I want to Jalen Brunson. Brunson was a forward, right? Thelma was a forward. We never drafted a backup point. Thelma was terrible. But like, yeah, he was terrible. Last thing I want to say, I gotta go. I gotta go. The last thing I want to say, though, if you look at all of the on-off lineups, I, I think the top seven only include one player as a constant in every single one of the top seven lineups. You know what that is? You know who it is? Top Great. seven of what lineup? Yes, our lineup. What, what lineup? Yeah, top seven. There's only one player. One player in that's a constant in the top seven on-off lineups. For the NBA. In, just in, yeah, in just no, in just our our, our team, nobody's guessed it yet. The, I said no. Trent Forrest. No, the, wrong. DeAndre Jalen Johnson. Wrong. It ain't Jalen Johnson. I know for a fact Trey and DJ are part of the two worst lineups in the. That NBA. is true. That is true. But you, you guys still haven't guessed it. Who? Clay Capella. Wrong. And Diego. Harrison yeah. Matthew. Wrong. Bruno. Wrong. Wesley. Wrong. It's somebody everybody don't like, but you already said. Trent. You want me to say it? Yeah, who is it? Bogey. Hey, Fuck out of here! Get that nigga uh, out of here, uh, hey, Bogey. Bo no, 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 but but here's the key. Here's the key. That's why we Dejounte. Whenever they it, those lineups don't include Trey and Dejounte at the court at the same time, but Trey with Bogey or Dejounte with Bogey are on there at so many times. So like. It, it kind of proves that you just need a real shooting guard next to either one of these guys, and you can play great. There's also going to be great with him. Trey That's why I want Zach Levine, you Mikey. Fix, you need to fit the no, players. No, Matt, Matt, we're not doing that again tonight. I'm just saying. saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, I might be just shut the computer off on you. Yeah, whatever. So what's, you the saying, difference between, what's the difference between Bogey and goddamn Murray? Talent. I mean, the difference. Yeah, no, I, all I'm saying is Bogey is yes. the only one that appears on the Hawks Best net rating, top seven lines. Man, oh, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Man, so with the same size as Murray, basketball. and no, he's not a good on ball defender. He's taller and bigger than Mogi, but I'm mean, um DJ. He's taller and bigger. No, he but he's more. Than he's probably six five, right? He's taller and bigger no. than me. What's not, that? I mean, he might be only an Bogey's inch six, taller, six. but yeah, six six. He's bigger, but now Bogey's a legit Bogey's like six six. I think like shooting guard, like. Frame and everything. So, well, so, hey, so is that. I already, I already told you about. about he's also, him. he's also way stronger than people give him credit for. Bogey. That's what I'm saying. Bogey not like he's, 
Yeah, he's not like DJ. DJ mm -hmm. is like he's too light at the shooting guard. He might got the little arm lift to happen or whatever, Man, but he's listen, like an inch short. Murray, 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 listen, I said I'm with you on that, Mike. Yep. There's no way Murray made all NBA defense guarding people. He Ain't wasn't no a shooting way, guard. He was at point guard with another. Ain't no way, bro. No, you, just said, hey, you, said, Demond, you Demond. said all the time. He Demond, the only with him, and he was at point guard. His bro. defense, it, that point guard, don't matter, is, Mike. It is, he's, but he's a bad it, defender also, on point guards now. He, it matters. No, but he also he also Put did that before. Guard. Tell the trade guard, shooting guard. Of what did he do? What, what did he do, Mike? What did he do in uh San Antonio when it came to navigating screens? Was he getting through the screens back then? Because he, I, I, didn't, I, I, I couldn't give you, I couldn't give you a oh, good answer Derek on that. White but was I, a real on that Derek team. White, like, like he, he, had, he got two he guys that I know that covered the Spurs. White. He got bench on Derek two White. Guys, look, two guys that I know that covered the Spurs. He got bench after Derek White. DJ got after Dejounte Torres Achilles. Yeah, he got bench. Derek White. Derek White. Derek mm. White took his spot. Well, hold on. It cool. got to be. It got to be on steals, man. It had. It had to be. Two guys. Two guys that cover the Spurs that I know said that DeJounte was not the same um, caliber of defender after he tore his Achilles. Like, it was night and day. Oh, and DJ, DJ tore his Achilles? I didn't yeah. know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he tore his Achilles. Early. I didn't know that. It's yeah, early. Oh, wait, let me. I think it was his. I thought it was ACL. Maybe it was ACL. Maybe it was ACL. I was about to say, I am about to say, I never heard Achilles, but I thought it was a knee thing. So, yeah, I thought it was a knee. Um, because it was like his first year, I think. I think it was like his first year, wasn't it? Corn, oh, right. Like, first yeah, it well, was ACL. Yeah, yeah, my bad. ACL, ACL in 2019. Okay. ACL in yeah. 2019. So, so, so Demond, what, what are we going to get from Murray? A wing I player? think you're going to get something good. I don't think. I think. I think. I think draft picks. Well, for me, a good return will be a starter and two first-round picks, but I don't think the Hawks going to get that. Mikey, what's starter, your good what position? Good. I think they will, Demond. I don't think the Hawks will get that because, uh, I mean, the league already knows that the Hawks gonna make a move. Mikey, so, and that's why with good. information like that, I don't like when information like that leaks what, out. What position, Demond? What what position? Shooting guard. Shooting guard. I mean, what you prioritize. If I if I'm trying to win now, probably the shooting guard. Shooting guard, yeah. If I'm trying to win now, I'm not riding with Buffkin. If I'm trying to win now, but I mean, what's the best that you can get? Like, what caliber of player? I mean, I would, I, I would prioritize. I would like an all star, but you guys don't get an all star caliber player. You want to go get you a stretch big, but DJ, unless, 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 what? This is what I'm no, saying. You don't want to waste this. They're gonna transfer. Put it in at two and go get a stretch big for DJ. Well, they gonna get the big and then and then sell out Bruno and and Clint Capella for some picks. You ain't getting nothing for Clint, bro. You, you I'm saying, well, I'm saying, just sell them off. Just dump them. Yeah, you so, need to dump Clint. You are getting something some from Clint. Clint ain't trash. You're not he, Clint he, trash. He ain't worth nothing. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you, matter. Matter. Doesn't matter what you say about Clint. It matters what, what everybody else thinks Clint, about him. They, 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 they don't, the NBA insiders but, told us his value. It doesn't matter what you think about Clint. It matters what every other team thinks about him. And they see him as strictly a backup center. That's why I kept saying, if you try you. You would probably, if you really want to get off Clint without having to get a trade exception back, you would have to attach a pick. Somebody take that salary. Yeah, and the Hawks can't do that because they're already down picks. Because we're already out of picks. For yeah, probably they don't get their Kings pick. That's why, and yeah, pro probably not. And that's why, that's why I think, like, I'll, I'm li I'll listen to anybody who says, you know, to trade Trey and with a legitimate argument. But the people who say, you know, just trade Trey, he's bad. Like, this team is going nowhere. Like, it doesn't make any sense to discuss that right now because the Hawks don't own their pick next season. If they go into a rebuild and they get, let's say they get four, first Tony, they're, they're not, they're not, they don't have a surplus of picks. They get three back from what they previously would have had and one extra, one extra. It's nothing like Oklahoma City where they had like eight extra picks than they normally should have had already. It's not the same situation. You, 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 you can't. Thing with Brooklyn. They suck, but they ain't got their picks. Exactly. Well, that's know, why. Look, that's look, why look, they're so hesitant. I think they're trade, I think, you know, I think Brooklyn is done, but Farrell makes a good point. You know, makes a good point. That's why they're not trading Mikael Bridges. You know, what are they gonna do? Mike, they messed up by not trading him. By not trading him for that Houston. Like speaking of Brooklyn, yeah, Darian. Darian, you're right. They should have did. They should have traded his ass to the Rockets. Took the five picks and Jalen Green. 
they, they're they gonna should. start over they're, anyway. And you still got you're, you're right. But here's the here's the thing. Farrell makes a good point because let's say they don't do that. They don't own their picks. So if they don't get enough back in that trade that they feel is worthy, they're gonna tank for their like for other teams. Like they don't have their own picks. So I get kind of why they're doing it, but I would agree with Darren. I would have definitely – if that deal was on the table like it was reported, you because, have to take that deal. You know, you know what, Mikey? They is, just – the Nets terrible. just like us. They, they would they would have end up getting back their own picks. Them picks Houston got is their picks. Yeah, they should have They should have done that because they it was their own picks, and they would have been bad. They could, they could, they could, picks and Jalen Green. I cannot believe they, they, they did that because they would have been bad – and they would have had their own picks. That's the ideal time the for the Hawks. Have a, the Hawks have a stretch. Damon, would you, would you trade? Would you trade DJ for uh, Devin Fazell? No. In, in a couple. And days. how many picks, Matt? Two. We need to um, do that. Two top ten protected. Yes. I think I might. I would. I would do that. Two top ten protected. Absolutely. You don't think that's enough value, Demond? He not enough. I like that. I like my man New Orleans concept. But that's what I'm saying, Mike. So you're not gonna get Valentine's and Bean. You're not gonna get real. Well, we real get, we get Valentine's and Bean. Demond, you don't. Demond, you don't think him next to Trey will be will be good, will be good? Throw in that. I do. I like that deal. Throw in that other guard. I don't think. I don't think that moves a needle for us. I think we'll still be a set. We'll still be a forty. That's fair. Okay, that's fair. Can you can we package up? Can we package up? Uh, Fair enough, uh, but I like the deal. Uh, uh, I, I like uh, Clint Capella, Double O, DJ, and Bruno for 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 over in New Orleans for for B and Valachunas. No, Valachunas sucks, bro. I don't think I'm, 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 I'm talking about his stretch. They ain't gonna give up their whole team. You know, I don't even. Y'all want too much for one team. Brown Tunis is not a, is not good anymore. I don't see why they would trade Brandon Ingram this summer. Wait until next. I don't summer. think they're gonna trade him because they cheat. They cheaper than Tony. They, yeah, yeah, that is true. But, but guess what? We know what the cheap owners like. They like selling tickets. Yo, Brooklyn is so bad. Tickets in Zion. Zion. Is so bad right now. It's what are terrible. the chances of them trading? Uh, what are the chances of them trading Mikael Bridges? They have. Yeah. I, I if think the they have to. Been like, a they're they're being being we would have no problem. And you, <laughs> and you know what's so they're bad about Mike? Him. Mike, you know what's so bad about it? They'll what? never get offered that again. No, they won't. No. It, it's it's ridiculous. They'll never get offered that again. I would have picked that five five first round pick. It was from and it was from your picks. It was your picks. How do you not take that? And you already that is the ideal thing to take. Lottery picks. This is well, why man. the Hawks can't trade Trey Young now, by the way, because if they don't trade him to the Spurs, they're not your own picks. If you're bad and those picks from whoever team trades for him aren't good, <laughs> then you're tanking the Hawks. Let's face it. This team is worse without Trey Young, whether you like it or not. It is they are worse. If you're not going to get better trading Trey Young. And if DeJounte is the head of the you snake, gotta put Vic at the two. these guys – you gotta let Vic play the two. Most likely not gonna be as good as they are now. You wanna go back to thirteen wins? Uh, for, uh, for nothing. I don't get people. Nah, bro, you just thought you just thought Vic and Trey. I, I don't like, get it, bro. At this point, not in a situation where you ain't got your own picks. Yeah, at this it, point, but it makes no like sense this. unless you get your own picks back. Yeah, Trey Young. I'm gonna tell you like this: if they not request a trade, picks are not in the next two years. We are fucked. I'm gonna tell you right now. No, <laughs> not in the next two years. This next, in the next year, year, maybe. I got a question. I got yeah, who yeah. got us into the situation? Landry, I mean, Nick Russell. Okay, and, uh, Trey, Landry, 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 okay. Uh, Nick, Nick and Trey. Well, well, Landry was a basketball guy. Landry one made the pick. The smartest so. basketball guy in the room told him, don't do the shit. Landry is a, is a, is, a, is a sorry manager, man. He just no, he just, no he's, he's whack, very man. good. He's very he's very good. He's very good. He's very good. He's very good. Right now, man, you know, I don't see how you can right now is so what is he so doing? You just said he was going to for thirteen months. How you say he's very good? I think I think he's very good because the draft class, as we all have said, the draft class. Oh, the man that's going off. So how you very good off one draft class? The draft because I'm saying the draft this current draft class looks pretty good. He got DJ on a steal. He got a combo on a steal. He didn't he get DJ on a steal. Landry Yo, is so good. 
His contract is a steal. What are you talking about? The you trade was horrible. I'm not talking about the trade. I'm talking about his he contract. He made the extension. trade. How can you not talk about the trade if he made the fucking trade? I'm <laughs> talking about the you extension. You had to sign him. Matt, who went and got with Matthew, Matt? Who went and got with Matthew, Matt? Who went and got with Matthew? You for then trying to get us out who, of the situation. Who decided to go him? and get, get the free agent and got Wesley Matthew? And for a million Neal. dollars, Kool-Aid. Who, for a million who dollars. Who made that decision? Who's gonna get that was a money move. Who else was we gonna get for a million dollars? Did Landry, did Landry, did Landry, did Landry, did Landry make that move? JC. That probably was Tony. Who was we gonna get for a million dollars instead of West? Okay, so Matthew? then who who made the move? Who made the move to go and and oh, uh, uh, bring yes, Patty Mill and bring Trent Forrest back? Norris is still with the organization. If he was so good, another team would grab him. Trent Forrest. Kool Aid. If if Morris was so good, he would another team. I did not say nothing about. I didn't say nothing about Miles Norris. I ain't saying about Miles Norris. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. No, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said he went. I said he traded Patty Mayo, and then brought Trent Fars back to make room for Trent Fars to bring. That was him a back. money move again. That's what I said. Well, I mean, we weren't going said, nowhere. He allowed Trent, Patty to go to Trent a contender. Trent Fars is trash. So you you saying Landry can't can't see that he trash? No, Trent Forrest ain't trash. Y'all, y'all Trent Forrest has been Trent Forrest. Let me tell you what, you, Trent Forrest might not be trash, but he don't fit this team when it comes you, to offense. You know, offense. You, you know, Lan, you know Travis, Travis is the one who initially signed Trent Forrest. When Nate the, the, bitch, all, it doesn't matter. Let him got a It don't matter. Hey, he signed him to a two way. We didn't get him to a full NBA contract. And we did too. We just had to convert it because he had played so many games. But that's not even that's not even the main that's not even the main point. The main point is Landry Fields was the main person that wanted this goddamn DeJounte Murray trade going. He going made through. a mistake. We he admit that. Was up the we team. can't make a mistake, bro. We can't you know, up this whoa, team. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't remember anybody up here bringing up the mistake for trading three first round picks to get DeAndre Hunter, who y'all hate. That Travis. I don't y'all do remember. I mean, you, do you don't remember that's me saying still, that, Matt? You don't remember me saying that? No damn well I said it. Well, you don't remember. Say, I just say, remember. I just say, I just say that last manager in three years got the Hall of Fame. Y'all two actually used to defend Travis, and I used to go against him. You don't remember that? No, I like Travis. I'm just saying everybody makes mistakes. So Matt, oh, yeah, that was, was, yeah, that's what that trade up for Hunter to four is fucking. I awesome. don't think it was a mistake personally, but I'm just saying the way it's viewed. Oh man, stop. So if you don't think it's a mistake, it why you bring it up? Stop, Even though because it's my guy, it was a you mistake. You think it's a mistake? Uh, Gerald think it's a mistake. Foot think it's a mistake. Everybody think it's a mistake. Hey, the homeboy what, what, Carlos. What, 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 shout what, what, out to the homeboy Carlos, man. He say Trent trash. Hold Real on, what quick. Do I think? Yeah. Shout out to Carlos. Trade it, trade it, trade trade, trade it three first round picks for DeAndre Hunter. I see, I see, so the DeJounte Murray trade wasn't that. just a mistake. That trade put you back years. No, it, no, it didn't. It, yes, it, it did. Darren, what it did. You know Darren, what it really did, Darren, 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 You know what it really I gave did, up Darren? That I trade, gave up two first round picks. That trade really How much do you think DeJounte is worth? Let, uh, Matt, Darren, you know what it you did? You don't have control of it your picks for how many years. That's over. It limit It limit all your flexibility. That's what it does. We don't, don't have quick, no how can you say like it's overrated? How can you say it's overrated? And you're the main one that wanted us to detain for a draft pick this year. So obviously you obviously you value draft picks. So the fact no. that we don't have control of those draft picks, how is it overrated? <laughs> I want I, I I wanted to tank this year because we when I said tank, we were already in the top ten. Why hold on? Okay, real quick. So why do you want to tank? Why do you want to tank? I want to tank. Because because I want to get have control of our draft picks, right? Because, because Quinn Snyder but failed. It doesn't, because it doesn't, it doesn't matter. In, it doesn't matter in twenty five, and it doesn't matter in twenty seven. Because, because I will already have my, I will already be competing by Dan Darian. I will already hey, be competing. Hey, Darian, hey, Darian, Matt, you don't Darian, even like DeJounte. Hey, Darian, 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 Matt logic Matt, don't make hey, sense. Matt want to tank because Quinn failed. This <laughs> oh Matt God. told me yeah, Quinn man. was plus ten in the win column. <laughs> With yeah, the shout out to Hey, shout, out to shout out to Quinn. Shout out to Quinn for not winning more than me. Hey, 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 go clip, go clip one of them early um shows in bro. the regular <laughs> season. Say go pick a show from the off season. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? We have a winning. We have a winning record. We have a winning record in games decided by three points or less. We have a winning record. Oh, 
Hey, so Matt, oh, man. Man. hey Matt, here's something. Over, here's something. Did you know this? So he Matt? had he's earned, so he's 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 earned. Did you did you know this? Did you know this? Last year the Hawks won 41 games. How many we win in this year? Less than they injuries, Matt. Let me ask this question. Let me ask this question. I want to ask everybody, and I want to get thumbs up and thumbs down. I want to talk about the first round picks over the last 10 years for a second. <laughs> when I call off the name, when I call years. off the name, when I call off the name, just give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. These Hawks picks, right? These are Hawks picks. All right. All right. First one. Adrian right. Payne. Oh, see, I did down before you get started, bro. I'm gonna do it before you yeah. name. Him. I know Hawks so, history. <laughs> Kelly Oubre Jr. Who? We didn't keep Hold him, on, we traded. Who we traded him for? Though? Did he play as a Hawk? Down. No. He as a Hawk. Oh, oh, he's a good player. Uh, he oh, never wait, played wait, as a wait, Hawk, man. Oh, oh, what, what did you say, my, uh, Mary? Kelly Oubre. Kelly, Kelly Oubre. Oubre. I mean, he traded him. Yeah, but who was traded him for? Next one. Next one. DeAndre Bembry. And I, I like Bimbry over Prince. Yeah. I was a Bimbry guy. I like, I like Bimbry. He, he I. He was okay. okay. I like he ain't even in the league, though, John Kool-Aid, Collins. so we can't even throw him up. Just, I, I just said John Collins? Collins? John Collins. I'll say thumbs up for what he for the first couple of years. Matt, That's you how you do it. How do you do that, man? Matt, considering the you said Matt, oh, turn your shit like this, pause, man. man. Pause, man. I'm sorry. Turn your shit like that, man. Thumbs up for Kelly Oubre, like who ain't even <laughs> played for the Hawks and done played for I don't know how many teams. He's a good player. He hey, go Matt, down. thumbs down with his whole fist sideways. How Matt, you do who that? He's a good player. He didn't play go for ahead, us. Matt, go, go ahead, man. Matt. All right, All right. team. Omari Spellman. Oh yeah, 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 bro. We are thumbs right. down. You skipped Kev, didn't you? Kevin Herter. Okay, there we go. I say thumbs up. Oh, Matt, you thumb up? Oh, yeah. Sure. Who? Trey Young. Oh no, no. <laughs> Cam Reddish. Thumbs down. I, I gotta go down. I'm gonna go thumbs up. What is that, Matt? Is that sideways? What the hell is you doing, Matt? Yeah, like that? He sucked his thumb. Sucked his thumb. Look at him. Oh, you ain't yeah. Hey, dude, hey, some sideways, like haters. sideways. Y'all some haters. I don't know why we Jaylen picked John. too damn small. Who'd you Jaylen say, Marion? Jalen Jalen. Jalen Jalen. AJ Griffin. So, I'm going sideways. Yeah, I go sideways. One good year, one bad year. Oh no, I don't know, know me. I, I understand yeah. why we picked him. I wasn't Kobe necessarily Kobe. big on him from jump. Kobe, uh, it's too big to turn here, bro. To be determined for me. I, I I need a whole season out of Buffkin. Future yeah, yeah, All Star. Right, so future All Star. The, the last ten years. I, I, hold on, hold on, Buffkin. I'm mean, based on what I know. I can go ahead and give him a thumbs up now. Okay. Based on what I've seen. We went through the last ten years. I want you to think about all the times you had the thumbs down, and why are we hoping that picks are gonna fix the Hawks? Oh, you really? Uh, hey, you uh, really want to get to it? Hey, 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 watch this, Watch this, Mary. Mary, you you really want some thumbs down? Go to start at 2000. Start no, that's 2000. what I'm saying. No, Lamont. No, for real, though. Actually, oh, the yeah. last 10 has been the best in like yeah. Hawks. History, Go to 2000. Watch this. Watch this. Let me ask Mary. I think you're only going to get, you gonna get one thumbs up. Matt, Matt, I think one. Young Hawks fans that think the draft is going to save us, bro. Oh, no. Mary, what's my phrase? You don't have to say it per word for what's my phrase on picks, man. Forget them draft Fuck picks. Them picks. Them picks. I say FDP, you know. The different, say FDP, Mary, Mary, FDP. Mary, to answer your question, Mary, to answer your question, <laughs> Mary, to answer your question <laughs> the difference why the draft, the difference why the draft oh, picks have been better the last five to seven years over what has been previously is because Travis was a scout GM that actually went out and scouted his own talent, and so is Landry. So they go out and actually scout their own talent. Man, Mike man, man, that BS, man. you just talking now, bro. Come Mike Boonhoser, Mike Boonhoser, we all know Trash. he wasn't out there scouting players. Trash. So the difference is, like, they they actually go out and scout players, and they know man, who's man. good and who's not. Yeah, everybody they, professional, man. That don't mean nothing. Hey, no, 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 no,
he he doesn't specialize in developing. He he wants to win now. So when he got here, well, he didn't really have to do shit because Ferry was building the team when when Bud got here. Ferry was building that team for him, which is how you supposed to do it. That's Shout out to the group. success in a short amount of time. Now, when Bud was made president, that's when Bud should start falling apart. Cause now he 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 got he wearing two hats, and, and he's not a good GM. Does he know talent? I believe so. Ain't, ain't no ain't no way that team he had that took to the conference finals and won those sixty game. And nobody in the world at the beginning of the season thought that was a, that was a that could be accomplished. So that for you to game. say, Muscala being his boy, <laughs> Bud no talent. No, 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 I say this, no, I say no, this, no, this no, Demar, I say this. Going into that season, I did think that he was going to get us to overachieve. I didn't think that greatly because if you remember, we what was that? That was the year before when Hofer tore his uh, shoulder muscle, right? And we were like, what, the eighth seed or something like that? And we took Pacers to uh, his pectoral or whatever. And we took and we took the Pacers. We took Pacers like seven, right? I think six, seven or some crap like that. It's the lower seed. Like, them boys are playing. And Budahol showed then that, like, he can get these guys to overachieve at least or whatever. That's but, true. We were beating up on the Celtics a little bit, too. Yeah. Like, he, yeah, we did. Yeah, like that, that that up come on. Do you know, come the on, do you know last year at the All-Star break, yeah, why, 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 up why, up why, why LeBron, he came out and said Sam Presti's the best GM in the NBA? Well, who cares? Whatever. What are you talking that about? Sam, Presti, Sam Presti's one of Sam Presti's an elite talent evaluator. He's an elite scout. I'll give, I, I give Presti that because he flees the shit so, out of the uh, Clippers. What does that have to do with Landry? Because oh, that's the Landry, OKC GM? Yeah. Okay. They yeah, both no, came from San Presti fly. and Presti and 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 uh Landry both came from San Antonio. So did so, so Matt, so Matt, so Matt, so Matt Presti and Landry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, are you man. telling me hold right on. now, Matt? Are who, you telling me that Presti did? and Landry had the same position with the Spurs? No, I, I, I didn't say that. I said they both came from the Spurs. Matt, it's Matt, 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 exactly. Matt. You, I like the way you tried was, to frame that. Man. Man. I like Christy, that. Well, was I'm, saying, I'm saying they both came when from the Spurs. Spurs. But he Matt. ain't nowhere near. But he ain't never did he, shit with the Spurs. He man. was a college scout for the Spurs. What you talking about, bro? Stop, bro. It. Was he that. a scout for OKC or slash GM or whatever when Vic got picked up by them when they drafted him? He was. Yeah, Prince has been there for a minute. Yeah, Prince has been there for uh, such a high yeah. mark, right? Prince I mean, been okay, there like so almost That was a second round pick, Mike. He threw darts at the board. You, I don't understand how you give someone credit and then take it right back. Hey, but, hey, but, <laughs> hey, but, <laughs> hey, but, <laughs> when you don't like somebody, they throw. Uh, to get Mo G, Matt? Hmm? Landry threw darts at the board to get Mo G in the second round? No, I'm saying OKC okay, had what? How many picks OC, OKC got between now and 2030? Like 17? So I'm saying like they don't need two hundred per round pick. They don't need all them picks, so they just picking they just picking players in the, in the second round. But in the first round, I yeah, give, give Presley credit though because the way he told it, but, he, when he told them Clippers he wanted SGA, and I was sitting there like, who is this guy? And that that dude. Ooh. So I'm saying there's a difference between a GM who actually scouts talent and a GM who just ain't there. no different, man. You know ain't no saying? different, man. It's all yes, basketball. Yes, it is. Hey, no basketball. hey, homies, I got to wrap it up early tonight, gang. Yeah, yeah. I, fin- I got I to get, get up early in the morning. Right. So, uh, hey, salute to everybody who tapped in on the panel. I appreciate it. Salute to everybody who tapped in on the watch along. We appreciate it. Appreciate the support the chat. And salute to everybody who we hit 1,500 subs. Salute to everybody who helped us get to that. I, I'm going to keep it real. I don't know if I'm going to do them watch alongs for uh, <laughs> them other two games. That's to be determined, man, because them games ain't ain't gonna be worth nothing. So, uh, I don't even know, man. I don't even. I'm ready for the play. Indiana, Minnesota, and, so. and we play Indiana, um, Minnesota, Indiana. Yeah, which they probably gonna be resting players, so it's probably gonna be a G League extravaganza. So, uh, nice I don't play. know if I'm gonna be watching. Minnesota those. might try to see they got number one spot. Say, well, talk to your coach. Do. Your coach ain't playing. But uh, salute to everybody who tapped in, man. You you I got to get up early in the morning, so I got to roll. Peace. Peace.